Hey everyone, it is Didi and I am back with another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to take a regular straight out of the box short wig and customize it into a very, very cute, very chic U part wig. If you're interested, stay tuned and here is the tutorial for you. Okay, so first you want to look at the inside of the wig to make sure that you can take the tracks out. Um, I noticed that the tracks were just sewn on. So what I'm going to do is just take a little seam ripper. And I am going to take off all the tracks that I want to remove. So I can put new tracks on there. Um, but a different color. Something that is more um, human hair. This is a synthetic wig. So I want to make sure that I have human hair. So I'll be able to curl it and style it any way that I want. This process is very time consuming, so um, you don't have to do all the steps that I do. But you do want to be very careful if you decide to take any tracks off of an already made wig. Usually they're probably done by um, a sewing machine, so the stitches are a lot tighter. So you definitely want to take your time. Make sure that you're cutting the thread and not the net. I'm going to try to get as close as possible so you can see what I'm talking about. The net is very thin, but it is sturdy. So it is um, some type of lace, I'm not sure what it is, but it is thin, so you definitely want to take your time because the whole point of this process is to not mess up the foundation so you can still use it to make um, the wig that you want. So here I'm just showing you where the tracks are and just um, how to take your time using a seam ripper and how you want to look for the thread. Use as many clips as you need to make sure that you're not cutting out or ripping out any access hair. And just take your time. This whole thing's got way too deep and we so much that make it a big deal. I do the little things, I got big deals, I got little things, I got everything I'm asking for, but you stop making it a big deal. Things that's getting carried. the first track out so you're just going to take out as many as you want I want the whole top of the wig gone as you can see so it took me about 30 to 45 minutes to do this because I really took my time and I was trying to make sure that I could get as much um, on film as possible so I can show you guys then I just said skip it I'll just come back in <laughs> at a different time because it is very time consuming but I just really wanted to show you what I was talking about um, when you're looking for the thread. I always pull the track back to add some tension so that you can see the thread lifting from the net. And then you go in with the seam ripper and you just cut the little pieces. Now I don't wanna go too far back uh, with the blonde hair. So I'm cutting where I want um, the blonde hair to stop. I don't want it to be all over the top of my head. I just want the front bang piece to be blonde. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, this is the hair that I got. It's Onyx. I just got it from Value Beauty up the street. This is the Black Diamond Collection. It is very affordable. It was about uh, $25, you know, plus some tax um, for like a 10 inch or something. I can't remember. I got an 8 inch or a 10 inch. <clears throat> so here you see me just outlining the U part. That's how much I took off. That's how much the, the tracks that I took off. You don't have to do as much as I did, but I wanted to make sure that the top was as natural looking as possible. So I outlined it, and here I am trying to sew um, the wig, I mean the tracks down. It's the same way that you do a sew-in, or you part sew-in, or um, you part a uh, wig. It's the same exact thing. I do have a wig stand, but I chose not to use it because I was trying to get as close as possible. In a space that I was working with, it wasn't really working with me. So the the will um, I can't even talk. <laughs> the um, mannequin head, Lord, the mannequin head is just sliding all over the place. So please excuse me. 
later I'll find a way to get it to um, fit in the bathroom so that I can show you guys what I'm talking about. But you just gonna sew as much as you desire to be on the wig. However, uh, whatever your part is, that's where you're gonna sew up into. This is a little sidebar. That's the only thing about trying to do a voiceover is when you stutter or you mess up, you really debate if you want to start all the way over it or just skip it. Like, that's just going to be in there. That's the stutter. It's just going to be on the tape, okay? Because I refuse to go back over. So here you go. This is the end of the sewing. That's how far I want it to go up. Cause I want my hair to be out because I want it to be as natural as possible so right now I'm just gonna cut the wig while it's on the stand because it, it's just a whole lot easier than trying to cut it on my head and I can get it as even as I like as short as I like without any mistakes to mess up so you're just gonna customize it I did a short to long um, cut just something that um, I didn't want blonde all over the top of my head so I did one side really really short and I'm trying to make sure it blends correctly with the synthetic hair and then I just cut all the way around kind of a feathered little tapered look I just don't want it to look like a clipper cut if that makes sense I want it to be just really natural just something cute simple Now because the hair is only like 10 inches or 8 inches, I didn't cut too much in the front. I kind of feathered it a little bit. But I wanted to keep this length because for a short style, 8 inches or 10 inches is pretty long. Now here I'm just taking my time and I'm going to curl the hair while it's on the mannequin. <coughs> As I stated earlier in the video, the wig is synthetic. So I'm putting this human hair on top of this synthetic hair. And if you know anything about synthetic hair, you put a hot flat iron on it, it's melting off. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I did this on the mannequin, especially for the shorter parts, because I do not want to just waste all my time and effort if all the hair is going to be burnt away. And it's just going to be this human hair just scraggles at the top. So I definitely just uh, wanted to show you that you have to be smart. And if you know anywhere that they have this human hair um, finger wave wig, let me know. I was going to order it, but I didn't want to wait. When I want a new style, I want a new style, and I'm going to get the new style. I don't care if I have to make some sacrifices. <laughs> so now I'm just curling it up really, really cute. And I'm not really too worried about the bang piece because I don't know how I'm going to wear that. Now, it's kind of looking a little, little um, seasoned. The hairstyle is like, you know, for the seasoned saints and, you know, uh, from the mother's board. Uh, no. <laughs> but I didn't want um, to curl it too much and then trying to straighten it later. So I just bumped it a little bit just to uh, get a feel for the style that I was going for. I know I'm talking a lot and I said I wasn't going to talk a lot, but I have a lot to say. And everybody say hey to Kyle. Hey Kyle, you looking good, man. You got the fresh taper and the, the bangs on deck. <laughs> so here I am just putting the wig. I just wanted to show you really quickly the difference. I love the the neck line, the, the tapered at the, the back of the neck. I think it looks very natural. I took a few pieces out of the back because um, it was really bulky at the bottom. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like with no manipulations, just straight off the mannequin on my head. Now somehow I forgot to film me putting it actually on my head and cutting the U-part piece out. But I think if you watch one um, lace wig or lace U-part video or whatever, you'll get the gist. 
So here I'm just putting some organic, homemade uh, shea butter and oils I got from Nap Naturals. If you see my last video, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to put that on my real hair, trying to protect it and make sure it's moisturized. Put a little heat protectant on it. I can't remember what the name is. Um, and now I'm just flat ironing my hair to blend. And basically at this point, you just style it however you want to style it to your heart's desire. I did sew the wig down, so my hair is just braided down like a regular um, braid down pattern. I don't really know how to, like, around the U part or the part, I have a braid, and then the rest is just braided straight back. So now I'm going to use some edge control, just slick my edges down, slick um, a little bit of the, the nape piece down for the wig. And then you just style it how you want. So whatever you're feeling, do it, girl. And there you go. Final look. Could have fixed that little front piece, but hey. Hey, Sarah. Sarah. But this is the finished look. I really love how it came out. I was a little nervous because it was my first time doing it. But I really love how it came out. I love the pop of the blonde. I love, love, love the finger waves in the back, especially at the nape piece. It looks really natural to me. And there you go, a little victory dance. Boom, boom. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you try it on your own. If you do, please follow me on Instagram or Facebook and tag me so I can see. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, rate, do all of that wonderful stuff. Thank you guys, I love you guys. I'm out. I will see you next time.